morning everybody uh, this is another tutorial by myself Ify alright uh, a lot of you might have had this problem you wake up in the morning you come into your car you go to start it and nothing um, I'll be performing this tutorial on a Volkswagen Scirocco uh, TSA uh, the tutorial works the same for the Golfs, the GTIs, the R's, Jettas all Volkswagen models with the battery in the engine bay in the front um, Alright, well, you come to your car, plug your keys in, and boom, everything goes. Nothing ticks over, everything's just switched off. Dead battery. You might have this problem in winter most of the time. Just get out of the car. Okay. Very simple, just go to your local dealer or uh, auto parts store. They'll give you the correct battery for your car that you require. Um, the tools that you will need to perform this is a ratchet with a long arm and this is a 13 millimeter end piece bolt this is metric by the way not imperial and a 10 mil to undo the terminals on the battery All right, first things first what you need to be doing is to remove your battery connect all your ratchet and stuff together you see this bolt right here we need to undo that that's what holds the battery in place um, I'll pause for a minute I'll undo it and then I'll get back to you in a second okay once you've fully undone it the end is easy you just take it off by your hand using that that's a little piece make sure you put that somewhere safe so you don't lose it that should be off now. Alright, next thing we need to do is remove the two bolts that is holding the terminal together. Always start from the negative, which is the black cable, and then go on to your positive. And then when you're fitting it on, vice versa, positive first, and then your negative. So let's start by undoing the battery terminals. should undo by hand after a certain if you don't want to undo them too much otherwise you won't be able to get them back on um, let me undo the positive as well terminals are off just tuck them away nicely um, I've tucked the red cable just behind here and the negative black cable just around the back just so they don't touch each other or touch any part of the bodywork you don't want your car to short circuit if there is any power left in any of the capacitors. Alright, next thing's next. Remove the shield off the battery. It's the battery protector. It don't really do much, just helps keep your battery clean. Okay, so the new battery is in. When you're putting the battery in, there's a little... Let me see if I can get it for you. Can you see the little lip down here? Along there, make sure the battery sits flat into that. So it doesn't move out of place and obviously the bolt that you removed first holds the other side down. Um, yeah, now all you have to do is just make sure you connect the positive first. Well, before you do that, actually, make sure you get the guard on. You don't want your battery getting a cold in the winter. But once you've got the guard back on, one okay so once you got the winter guard back on the rest is easy just remove the caps off the new battery oops you might need to jerk your battery a bit left and right to get the terminals back on that's it you got that one back on using your 10 mil retighten it back up I know this is a very messy video guys Let's keep it nice Make sure the terminals are sitting on fully You don't want any problems Later on Let's get it back on That's the one First hand tighten it Make sure your keys are not in the ignition You don't want to get electrocuted while doing this Give them a nice 
just tighten, make sure that the terminal is fully on there while doing this. That's it. And next, just put in the negative back on. First, give it a little hand tighten, make sure it's fully on there. Tighten that up nicely. Make sure it's nice and tight. Nice and tight. You don't want it to come off while you're driving. That could be very dangerous, especially with these new cars. Everything is controlled by their electronics. So give it a nice tighten. That's the one. Cover your battery up. Make sure it's nicely tucked in. Okay, all that's left now is making sure you put the bolt back on. <clears throat> Make sure the lip is actually holding on to the battery. Make sure it's nice and straight and it's holding on. This will stop your battery from sliding left and right. If you've got room to hand tighten it, hand tighten it first to make sure the screw sits in. If you haven't, you can always just go over it with the ratchet. Okay, uh, ratchet goes on. Give it a little tighten. Yes, that's nice and tight. Give it, make sure you give it another extra little squeeze. That's the one. Okay, and now. If all goes to plan, we should have power and no problems. Let's give it a go. Yeah, all the warning lights are on. Everything is working well. All right, your lights may be on for a little while. They start coming back to their senses once you start driving. Don't forget the car has been reset completely. So your time, your radio, everything will have gone off. After a little drive around, all of these lights would have gone off. Okay, so I took the car around the block, one kilometer. Boom, all the lights are off. Uh, it just recalibrates itself. Once everything is recalibrated, Bob's your uncle and you're ready to go.